if we scroll back down and look at the values that were read in again, we'll see that the third column in the tibble called participation doesn't have a numeric grade. It has a character string that is either pass or fail, depending on whether they have been assigned a passing or failing grade for participation. If I want to average these grades, I'm not going to be able to average a character string like this with numbers like this and this. So I'm going to have to come up with some way to convert these character strings into a number. And I've decided that for my grading scheme, if a person gets a pass, that's going to count as 100% averaged in their grade. If a person gets a fail, that's going to be counted as a 50% averaged in their grade. If I wanted to be really mean, I could make it be a zero, but I'm not that mean, so I'm going to let it become a 50%. If I wanted to use a similar strategy, I could take this column, grades participation, which has these values, pass, pass, fail, pass, pass, fail, pass. I could take those values and pass them into the replace function. And then based on whether that value is pass or not, I could assign it a value of 100%. So if I do that, I can see that I did replace all the passes with 100%. But there's two problems that I have here. One is that it only replaced the passes with 100%, and it didn't replace the fails with 50%, which is what I wanted. The other problem is that I can see that these 100s here are not 100 as uh, integer numbers. They're 100s as strings. And I'm going to run into a problem, probably, if I try to average strings like this with uh, numbers. So that's a second problem. Uh, clearly replace is not going to do the job for us. We need something else.